Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about Tata HBX. Tata Motors has the HBX concept based on micro SUV as its next big launch in domestic market and is expected to go on sale in July 2021. The homegrown manufacturer introduced the seven-seater Safari earlier this year and it is it has definitely helped in strengthening its uh, SUV lineup. The sub 4 meter HBX, on other hand, will aid in garnering more volume sales. Recently, the Tata HBX, which could go by the production name Hornbill, was spotted in its uh, production gaze quite a few times and it will likely to be priced between Rs 4.5 lakh to Rs 7 lakh ex showroom. It is the second Tata model to be underpinned by the Alpha platform and thus it may will become the most affordable passenger car to have 5 star global NCAP crash test rating. It has a overall length of 3840 mm, width of 1822 mm and height of 1635 mm with 2450 mm wheelbase. The HBX will compete against uh, Mahindra KV NXT and uh, Maruti Suzuki Ignis amongst a host of entry level models while Hyundai AX1 appears to arrive sometime next year. On the outside, the 5-seater gets an upright front fascia with split LED headlamp cluster, Tata's now uh, new signature Humanity line grill, uh, commercial shaped bonnet, central air intake, LED daytime running lights in the top end variants, tall pillar, raked front windshield, uh, squared V-locks, a floating roof line, wraparound LED tail lamps, etc. Just as the exterior, the cabin takes plenty of inspiration from the concept. It features a floating touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. In car connective features, a uh, layered uh, dashboard, semi-digital instrument cluster, steering wheel with mounted controls, 90 degree door opening for easy ingress and egress and so on. Under the bonnet, the Tata HBX will more likely be equipped with 1.2 litre Revotron petrol engine producing around 86 PS maximum power while the turbocharged direct injection version of the same engine could also be introduced in the top spec variants. A 5 speed manual and a 5 speed AMT will likely be a part of the transmission lineup. Please stay tuned to our channel for further updates. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel.